Good afternoon, and welcome to the 28th Annual World Power Wheel Standing Championships presented by Don's Auto Parts and Machine Shop. And he made the tow all the way from NASCAR country of Elizabethtown, North Carolina. Now, we have never seen this truck. We've seen the driver many a times, but this is a bit of an unproven machine as far as we know. But what does Tim Shamblin have up his sleeves? Why would he trade in his proven wheel stander for a new C-10 pickup truck? Well, we're about to find out. Well, this is a familiar name in the World Power Wheel Standing Championships and a bit of an unfamiliar car. A new truck this year. This is Tim Shamblin all the way from Elizabethtown, North Carolina. And he has a 1969 Chevrolet C-10 pickup truck, 565 cubic inches. A big block Chevy under the hood for Tim Shamblin in a brand new entry for the 2022 season. Kind of a twist and shout up there. That car had a lot of twists in his pickup over the years. Well, he's upgraded to C10. Number one for Tim Shamblin. Tim would like to credit his sponsors, Ziggy Body Shop, Sweet Home Logging, and Lee's Transport, helping him to get this truck put together and ready in time for the World Power Wheel Tennis Championship, presented by Don Auto Park and Machine Shop. a little bit longer. They all want a little bit higher. They all want to be the champion. Tim Shamblin, take number two. But Tim Shamblin traded in his old pickup and got this new 69 C10. 565 cubic inches. Do you know how much power you need to get the front tires up in a truck that big? No fewer than 565 cubes, that's a fact. Tim Shamblin, a longtime competitor, a multi-time, most photogenic, and most violent wheel stander, and one of the most unique, typically, as well. Coming up again on the C-10 pickup, Tim Shamblin. There, Tim. Just like a new strategy for starting line prep, you just drag your actual tires across the starting line to help drag the surface. He might be onto something, Tim Shamblin. I don't think you realize how big this truck is until you see the front end come off the ground. That is a behemoth, a full-size regular cab pickup. <laughs> Let him know he is welcome to the playground of power. A big round of applause. Tim Shamblin is back for more. So he'll pull a U-turn right at center track. Brian Hampton applying a little more water to the water box area. He will need to burn out the water. Shamblin knows what he's got. He's got to make a round of applause for Tim Shamblin, and that might be enough to carry that C-10 pickup truck all the way to the 330-foot cube. Or better. Yeah. 
hand. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Tim Shamblin absolutely has the crowd on their feet. And that is without a doubt the loudest round of applause we have heard yet today. Tim Shamblin, what did I tell you? He would not disappoint. We were a little unsure, perhaps a little bit uh, reserved after that first session. But without a doubt, Tim Shamba, what did I tell you? There was swagger in him when he staged that car the last time. The tree came down. He sat on the rev limiter for probably two and a half, maybe three or four seconds. That car took off. You can see the aftermath. Just look at the black streaks all over the track. Look at Chief Starter Jeff Spearling. That's where the truck makes a violent move the first time. Right where BJ and Jake are standing. You see the first mark in the center of the track. He avoids the 330-foot cue, but he was not done. He was off and on the throttle one, maybe two more times. And there he goes. He's in the pit area driving back, and the fans are letting him know their pleasure. Tim Shamblin!